Well, they do say that inspiration strikes at the strangest times. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top five inventions and discoveries made by people high on drugs. This is the future. This is like the apex of the vortex of joint engineering. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be looking at various inventions, medical breakthroughs, and or discoveries that were made by people while they were high on drugs. These stories must have either been proven or are considered extremely likely to have occurred. Since it's only a rumor, and according to his biographer, a false rumor, that Francis Crick discovered the double helix while on LSD, he won't be included in this list. Number five. Timothy Leary conducts research into psychedelics while on them himself. Timothy Leary was a psychologist who was prominent throughout the 60s for advocating the use and benefits of psychedelic drugs. Leary began a study at Harvard in 1960 called the Harvard Psilocybin Project, which was meant to research the use of psychedelics under the right conditions. This included not only controlled experiments, but also rigorous personal use, often at the same time. In Leary's opinion, psychedelics could help people where regular therapy could not, a hypothesis seemingly proven by his alcoholic and criminal subjects. Everything in the world just seemed to glow inwardly with life. While he may have gotten a little carried away later in life, his Harvard experiments remain influential research into the effects of psychedelics. It's a great American tradition of speaking up and challenging and stirring things up because no change takes place in the brain unless there's shock. Number four. William Halsted makes breakthroughs in medical practices while high on cocaine and morphine. Known as the father of modern surgery, William Halsted is remembered for his exceptional medical talents and breakthroughs, including the advocacy of anesthetics, the importance of clean operating tools, weird, right? And the invention of the radical mastectomy, a revolutionary procedure that combated breast cancer, and was pretty much all done while Halsted was filled with cocaine and morphine. It was very common for many a doctor in the late 19th century and the early 20th century to use themselves as guinea pigs. He became addicted to cocaine after testing its properties as an anesthetic, and morphine after it was used to treat his addiction to cocaine. Despite battling addiction, he went on to revolutionize medicine, and is now regarded as one of the most important and influential surgeons in history. Number three, Carrie Mullis invents the polymerase chain reaction while on LSD. While Kerry Mullis has been a bit of a controversial figure in the early 21st century, he won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1993 for inventing the polymerase chain reaction, a process that generates multiple copies of a specific DNA sequence. This is used in multiple fields, including forensics and biomedicine, and this Nobel Prize winning concept was developed using LSD. At a symposium for LSD pioneer Albert Hoffman, it was revealed that Mullis had once told Hoffman that LSD was a major contributing factor for the development of the polymerase chain reaction. What well, if I had not taken LSD ever? Would I have still invented PCR? I don't know. I doubt it. Number two, Sigmund Freud invents psychoanalysis while on cocaine. Psychoanalysis was established by notable Austrian neurologist Sigmund Freud in the early 1890s. And while its validity and use are hotly contested within academic circles, it has nevertheless been a major source of discussion and influence in the practice of psychiatry for more than a century. And Freud loved him some cocaine. And he also, his nose was so congested, he had to have a surgeon open it up with a knife so he could breathe. Freud's medical reputation was somewhat ruined once it was reported that cocaine caused overdoses and addiction, but Freud still remained a user of the drug to treat his depression and headaches. He finally stopped using the drug in 1896, one year after the publication of Studies on Hysteria, which is often considered to be a formative work on psychoanalysis. Number one, John Pemberton invents Coca-Cola on cocaine and morphine. The story of Coca-Cola begins with debilitating morphine addiction. Coke's creator, John Pemberton, was seriously injured during the Civil War and subsequently became addicted to morphine, which was used to treat his pain. Seeking a less addictive replacement, Pemberton started experimenting with coca and coca wines and created Pemberton's French wine coca, a drink consisting of French wine and a unique mixture of cocaine and alcohol called cocaethylene. However, Pemberton was forced to tweak the recipe amid the temperance movement in the late 19th century. He removed the alcohol and created a little drink called Coca-Cola. You might have heard of it. A bottle of ice cold Coca-Cola when you're thirsty or a little tired. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.